pants. Okay, see, I think that's why it like cropped it off because when I started, it almost zooms in a bit more. Yeah. But that still looks pretty good, hey? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah, cool. So. so we're having tea. What kind of tea is this? Jasmine. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe too oh, hot stuff. Smells so good. Yeah. I love jasmine tea. Mm. Is it jasmine green or just jasmine? Jasmine green. Mm. Mm. So good. Yeah. Cool. So we're in Allison's house, aka her studio. Yeah, it's my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to see some of the art supplies right here behind us. <laughs> And all the plants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's like a little yeah. bit in the frame there. Um, yeah, it's fine. No, whatever. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, there's so many cool things in here to look at. Allison's got like almost like an inspiration wall over here behind us, mm -hmm. and then she's got a painting on the go right here. Is that one done or? It's. I finished it yesterday, so it's like very cool. Could be not finished. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to like kind of take a break yeah. from it, maybe. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that you've been making because mm -hmm. you've been very busy with your yeah. art practice, which is super exciting. Yeah. And so I went away on a residency in October for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I felt bad about having my studio empty. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, who wants my keys? And I, I thought of you right away just because. Uh, you've been doing a lot of prints and things, mm -hmm. and I saw them at such a small scale. And I, well, and you sort of had a bit of a residency, I mm -hmm. guess, like a, a short term, yeah. like three week stint in a bigger space. <laughs> it was it was so great um, having a studio that's not at home because when I'm working at home, I'll be like, yes, I'm gonna do home stuff all day. And then I'll be like, oh, I should do the dishes. Yeah. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry because I'm in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> So it's nice having a place where you can go and just like be there for a good amount of time and yeah. then there's artists in the studio to talk to too, which is super awesome. That's really yeah. cool. So you did run into a couple of the mm -hmm. artists there? Mm -hmm. Oh good. Yeah, that's awesome. That's terrific. Yeah. I completely relate to the tiny space thing. <laughs> We've all done it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Like moving into a studio is, it, it really changes the way you approach your work. Mm -hmm. and. Having the amount of space will really like dictate what you make. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so for those two, well, three weeks, I guess, or it was just a little under three weeks, what, what did you do there? You... Well, I got really into sculpture. And I made That's two sweet. ginormous uh, foam sculptures that are now in my living room. Mm. Um, it's really great having like a space where I could get really messy because making sculptures like that here would be Terrifying. Disastrous. I pollute my cat. One with the cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you would eat it all. <laughs> oh, and what made you want to choose that material? I well, I've been making paintings for a while. They're kind of like illustrative, narrative-based paintings, and I wanted to make something that was a little bit more three-dimensional, like an installation to go along with them. Mm -hmm. And I've been thinking about rigid installation for a while, and my dad has access to it, so I was like, hey, hook me up. So um, I was just awesome. planning on making like giant hands or something, but they just became like these life size figurative pieces. Yeah. Ah, that's awesome. And they're fem they're female figures yeah, too. Yeah. And are they almost like a, a self portrait or? I think yeah, they're personifying me, but I'm not sure if they're self portrait. Um, the hair is not my hair, so right. obviously not okay. me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, but, so they represent like the female figure yeah, and the female form. And... Yeah. Well, a lot of my paintings kind of go into, I'm interested in like spirituality and um, religious ceremony, like that sort of thing. Oh. So um, bringing like the female figure into those situations is kind of interesting to me. And um, I've been researching a lot about like different deities and goddesses and oh, that's things so like that. interesting. Mm -hmm. There's so many women artists in Edmonton mm -hmm. and they're doing such amazing things and we need to just get it out of the studio too, yeah. you know? Like I, I always think about that and I'm like there there could be this most amazing art piece and it could just sit in a studio and never be seen. Yeah. And like oh, totally. 
So if we can have some sort of online gallery, mm -hmm. then that sort of helps like show people like it, it gets more work out there and it, it highlights emerging artists more so um, that don't necessarily have the, the experience to like kind of put into a bigger gallery mm -hmm. where it's like, well, I've only had like, or I've never had a solo show. Like, will they take me? You know? Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of interesting too, because I've been featured on a few online galleries and that's been really great, but it's kind of like, maybe this is the future. Like people are saying that in 20 years, retail stores might not exist. So mm. like, why does art have to be physically like limited to where you are yeah. geographically? in the world I agree mm -hmm. yeah but it's all digital like every bit of it so like video photography anything that you make digital mm -hmm. really like it could even be text pieces or anything you scan in right like like it's yeah. limitless <laughs> and it, it's international like mm -hmm. it's amazing so like having your work seen in Australia is something that can happen in in the digital form mm -hmm. and you're not paying for shipping or yeah. or any of those like like expenses that we don't have money for. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah, unless we get a grant or, yeah. Yeah, if we're lucky enough to, yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny, I made like this one um, lino cut for um, like that magazine that I'm working on, mm -hmm. which I you about. And I like made the lino just so I could take a photo of it, put it on, like send it as a digital file. Right. But then the woman who asked me to do it, she uh, wanted to buy it and I was like, I didn't make it like with the intention of being like a physical thing shown like yeah. my borders are all ugly like it's oh. not well registered you know like I would have put a different amount of care into it had it been for a physical thing right so there's a, yeah there's a different way of working to it's get true because you could crop it and make it look yeah. like flawless in your digital piece yeah, like and I, you could I even edit it a lot of it yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like well that's not great printing okay yeah yeah <laughs> that's great that's so mm -hmm. good oh that's so funny mm -hmm. you have Instagram mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have a website as well. Where can people yeah. find you if they want to look up your stuff or even buy some of your yeah. neat drawings or prints? Uh, I have an Instagram. I'm all bab -ba a l l b a h b a h. Awesome. Um, and my big cartel site is linked through that, and then you can find my website through that too. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So, if there's any upcoming events yeah. or shows I've or got anything, a bunch of things doing. coming up. Um, Ooh, what are you going on? My work's gonna be <laughs> in in Yay Canvas. This Ooh. is my image. Oh, yeah. wow! When does that come up? I think oh, right, yeah. Months. I remember you told me about this. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. So. Oh, and they printed be... little cards for you. Yeah, they're artist trading cards. I love that. <laughs> That's so cool. You can have one if you want. They sent me a bunch. Oh, wicked. And then I made a list of the other things I'm doing. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> I'm also working on paintings. Ooh. I have a magazine cover coming up for a poetry magazine. Ooh. Um, oh yeah, and then I've got a big poetry project coming up that I got a grant for, and yay! Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. So working, your own poetry? No, I'm working with a local poet, and okay. I'm making art to go with her poetry. Oh, yeah. wow, that's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah, and we've got a show coming up at SNAP in 2019. Oh, nice. Who's the poet? Mary Pankowski. Okay. She was a fourth poet laureate of Edmonton. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be so great. Mm -hmm. 2019. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, that's far off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll start making the work in the new year. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. exciting. And then it'll be sort of an ongoing project then for you for that year. Yeah. And then other projects will kind of fill in the gaps. Yeah. yeah. Like my grant is for three months at SNAP to rent at the oh, studio okay. there. Great. So hopefully I can make like most of the print work right away and then kind of develop it. Nice. So it'll be prints. Yes, I'm going to be working in cyanotype. Oh, mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah. And bigger like yeah, scale. Yeah, I was, well, in my um, application for the grant, I wrote that I was going to make like some medium to large size prints, but I'm already thinking about how those prints might just be on fabric and how they might be draped over figurative sculptural things. So okay. we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to, I mean, you apply for the grants and you stay as close as you can to what you mm -hmm. apply with, but when it comes down to it, sometimes things have to change logistically yeah. just for it to actually make sense and to work mm -hmm. yeah yeah and i'm i'm happy with it 
to change. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Because I haven't made like a bunch of traditional prints since university. And, uh, well, and cyanotypes kind of are a really interesting thing because yeah. like we didn't learn that in university. No, no. I did a little bit of like photo processing with um, this medium called uh, Solar Fast. Okay. It's like all sorts of different um, colors and basically you just like um, coat your paper or your fabric with the stuff and then put in uh, negative on it and expose mm. it. Okay. So it's kind of like cyanotype but like nice. some of the chemical steps are taken out um, and I really liked working that way because it's really fast. Oh cool. Um, so it's like a light sensitive emulsion almost yeah. like, like silk screening in a way. Kind of, yeah, yeah. But no mesh. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so how do you how do you sort of approach your work when you want to start and like, like what's your process? Like, I, I don't know how else to phrase that. Um, <laughs> well, we'll see about this poetry project. That's going to be a bit different than what this, like than what my paintings are or something. Right. But usually I kind of go in with like an idea of what I want to do or I'll just go to my sketchbook and be like, okay, what did I draw before? Mm. And then I'll make like, Imi well, uh, oh, you have little yeah. studies. Yeah, so oh, that's studies. really cool. So, um, nice. this became a painting. This painting we're actually looking at right now. It's behind the camera. Yeah, we can post some photos on the, yeah. on the book. Cool. cool. So, yeah. So, I make a study and then I make the work really quickly. Nice. And I don't, like, I I try to work really fast. I'm, I remember in my first year, Daniela was my teacher, and she was like uh, talking to us about how this one ceramics teacher, he had two classes, and he taught the one class to um, make the perfect vessel, like the first perfect jar, and he told his other class to make a hundred jars, and the class that made a hundred jars made like better work. Oh, you know, so true. Yeah, so I'm oh, just trying to like produce, <laughs> produce, produce, and mm -hmm. then we'll ring back on what I've made. Yes, yeah. I love that so much. Mm -hmm. I am totally in that mode as well. Like as far as drawing goes, like it's yeah, it's like how quickly can we pump out drawings? And yeah, like out of the ten drawings that you do, maybe there's only like three that work out. Mm -hmm. But but if you <laughs> plan to really make that paper precious or make your surface so precious it like kills the life yeah out of it like it takes the life right out of oh, it completely yeah. yeah like right now I'm working on a series of drawings that I'm not really sure what the intention of um, of them is it might just, they might be a zine or they might never see the world um, mm -hmm. but I'm like limiting myself to pencil um, white Conte and red pencil crayon and it's done on craft paper so I'm like the paper is crappy oh, like cool. I'm just doing it really yeah. quickly and just like these studies of like moments of my life being an artist in Edmonton, but I'm just trying to do them really quickly and not erase too much. Anyways, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah, I like that. It's really fast. I love that. Yeah, so, and it's good to limit yourself too, because mm -hmm. that that brings like I don't know your your focus gets put on other things rather than the medium itself. Yeah. Yeah, I know. For a year, I was sort of obsessed with with using ink and mm. I was like I'm just gonna do as many ink drawings as yeah. I possibly can and it was just like this this thing where I was like I'm only gonna use ink mm -hmm. and yeah it really it really pulled some ideas out that I don't think I would have gotten out otherwise because yeah. it was like okay don't even think about the material like that's not even a decision you need to make right now because it's already like been made, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is nice. Yeah, definitely. Well, and with like our studios jam packed with as many supplies as we have, it can be kind of daunting to be like, which one should I use? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've got a million colors. Yeah, like like all artists, it's like, ooh, this is a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm excited for all the things that are coming up and I think yeah, you've got some really interesting and like different things happening. Yeah. So, that'll be really good for you, I think, mm -hmm. and just to expand like like your understanding of where your work can be. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be in a gallery. It could be on a magazine. It can be in a poetry book like it, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, there's a lot of different different outlets that you can have your artwork mm -hmm. and the collaboration component is really yeah, exciting I like that you're working especially with people that aren't that that have a I don't know like a poet you know mm -hmm. poets are amazing at words and you're amazing at visuals and then it's like let's combine yeah. and do something together yeah definitely <laughs> um and like I'm so excited about collaborating with other artists too like 
doing Tennis Club, that was awesome, being able to collaborate. And I'm still collaborating with like Marie and we're working on some uh, proposals for some more installation based works. And I just love it. It's great mm. working with other people. Yeah. Also because we get so like isolated. It's like yeah. I s stay home all day and paint and it's like... It's you and the cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to go and meet some people. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, and then you also approach your work differently when you work with others. Oh, like, yeah, for sure. Because they have a completely different understanding of like of how to work or how they work mm -hmm. and then you learn a lot about yourself in that in that way mm -hmm. awesome yeah. okay. well thank you so much Thanks. this was really fun yeah. and I'm I think, excited to yeah. see your creative throb practice project coming to life and like yeah. doing something really awesome I know I'm really excited for it too I think like we yeah we interviewed Casey and she was really excited like excited to do it too yeah. and any artist that I've already mentioned it to they're all like yes I would be honored like there's yeah. there's this word honored that keeps coming out and I'm like oh that's so like yeah. that's a big word <laughs> you know like, but like honored I think it, wow it, yeah, that's it loaded. captures it for sure mm -hmm. yeah we all want to have a moment to talk about our work and yeah. yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, thanks, Allison. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drink our tea. Okay. <laughs> I like how you have an A on your I know. Cup. My gave I have a B me. on mine. <laughs> 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 in my studio. <laughs> my mom gave it to me. <laughs>